Jesus or Lucifer? Who's more misunderstood? At the end of this video, comment down below and let me know what you think. Now I realize that a lot of people are new to my channel, so I'm just gonna say real quick. In 2014, I attempted to take my life and Archangel Michael appeared. Since then, I've had multiple visitations from Archangel Michael. I've had two visitations from the soul of Jesus and a handful of visitations from Lucifer. I've also had out-of-body experiences where I've been shown things by the angels. And so this is where I'm getting my information from. Before I get into things, I just want to say I respect all religions, even though I consider myself to be spiritual. You know, I was raised Roman Catholic. Some of the nicest people I've ever met are Christians. A lot of the ladies that I've been on dates with since I've been single have been Christians. So I don't discriminate and I respect all beliefs. I'm not saying I'm right and you're wrong. I'm just saying this is my opinion based off the information that I've seen thus far. Let's start with Jesus. A lot of people, when we say that name, we think of a six foot tall white guy, long brown hair, brown beard, somewhat slender white dude, right? On October 20th, 2020, I had a visitation from the soul of Yeshua, Jesus. And what I was shown is that when he was down here, he was more likely around five foot two-ish. And I was also shown the true color of his feet and they were not white. So rather than Jesus being a six foot tall white dude, he was more likely a five foot tall brown skinned man, call it what you want. Now the next thing I would say is a lot of people are expecting Jesus to return. Now what I've been shown is that certain translations in the Bible have been taken out of context. The return of Christ does not mean the return of Jesus Christ. Part of me wishes certain religious groups would understand this because I believe some of them are the most passionate individuals and would actually take to the streets rather than waiting for him to return. The return of Christ is the return of Christ consciousness. What that means is one day every man and woman walking this planet will have the Christ consciousness within and that will be true heaven on earth. I believe they're talking about the return of the Christ consciousness. Again, if any of these things rub you the wrong way, then let's just politely agree to disagree. A lot of people believe that Jesus died for your sins. Now, what exactly does that mean? The way I interpret that is that as long as you invite Jesus into your heart, then you're good to go in the afterlife. But on October 20th, 2020, the last thing that the soul that Jesus told me before his soul pulled away was that love is the key. And with that came downloads. I understood that he never wanted to be worshipped. He was trying to teach people that opening up your heart, being more loving, more compassionate is the key into heaven. Aligning to love is aligning to Jesus because that's the energy that he aligned to. You don't even need to know the name of Jesus to get into heaven. As long as you align to love, you automatically align to him and he knows your name. If a two-year-old baby fell off a wagon and let's just say crawled into the bushes and lived a harmonious life with the animals, did nothing but respect nature. When that person died, Jesus isn't gonna be like, you didn't know my name, you can't come into heaven. What you got going on in your heart is going to determine your vibration. You're going to go to a vibrational match in the afterlife. Now let's look at Lucifer. First of all, I don't even know where to begin with this one because, you know, the things I've been shown, not many people are talking about it. And there's times where I'm just like, I don't even know if there's a point in talking about the things that I've been shown because it's just so different than, you know, the things that are being taught. But anyways, you know, I was shown in one of my out of body experiences where I was introduced to Lucifer as a bright white star. I was shown, see, I have to backtrack a little bit because what I've been shown is that Archangel Michael is actually the creator of our universe, our reality. He was the one who called in Jesus, the Ascended Master, to bring balance to this reality because it was getting so out of whack it was actually affecting other, you know, neighboring areas in the cosmos and stuff. And so there needed to be balance. And Archangel Michael is actually the one who called 
Jesus and other ascended masters. There's been many. So one of the things that is misleading about Lucifer is they say that he was cast out of heaven and he's been painted to be the bad guy, right? Well, you have to understand what planet Earth is. It's a place where, number one, is a testing ground for all of the other universes and realities. It's like, okay, we're gonna experiment with something on planet Earth and see if it works. And if it doesn't, then we won't take it to other places. So it is important because they wanna maintain balance within all the other areas in the cosmos, right? So they try to confine it down here and this little test beaker has gotten overrun with parasites. And so we have to, you know, Archangel Michael had to call in some ascended masters to come in here and help bring balance, right? What I was shown is that Archangel Michael, being the creator God of our reality, actually found that, you know, being playing God in his corner of the, you know, multiverses, he realized that it wasn't all love and light and some of the things that he had to experience caused him to have a soul fragmentation. This soul fragmentation became Lucifer. Archangel Michael understands that in order for this to be a free will zone, there needs to be beings of love and light and beings below, down below because we have free will. How many times have you gone and flipped the bird? You're creating anger which aligns to lower level energies. So, you know, it's all about balance and we have free will we can align to whatever energies we want so archangel michael needed a being to basically be in charge of all these other low level energies that can get out of hand right and so a lot of people think that lucifer and archangel michael are actually battling but you know of all the visitations i've had i was shown archangel michael in full stature once and I was shown Lucifer once, and they're identical twins. So they're not fighting. When souls incarnate here, we're given the opportunity to transcend to high levels, but we can also fall down below. In order for this reality to exist, there needs to be order down below. Lucifer is not the cause of all the problems down here on planet Earth. He's the scapegoat so that humans never wake up and realize and be like hey why are we killing each other why are we still going to war it's 2024 have we not figured out how to discuss our problems like adults you know oh it's lucifer lucifer's causing all these wars let's not take accountability anyone because a lot of people have formed this belief that lucifer was cast out of heaven from god there's people out there that have done sacrifices in the name of lucifer as a way to oppose god and you know i'm sorry but from what i've come to understand that just makes lucifer shake his head he wants balance in this reality just as much as archangel michael does believe it or not lucifer actually has his own realities that are actually way more balanced and harmonious and peaceful and loving than this planet earth that we find ourselves on i don't know how many people this stuff's gonna resonate with but you know in 2014 after i attempted to take my life and archangel michael appeared i went on a quest for knowledge and i've learned some things and i just share in my truth as it is enjoyed this content you want to see more hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one